Welcome back to learning how to play Crusader Kings 3 and we will commence a war with the Armenian principalities for a little bit of land. It's not much but it will work our way toward founding eventually the Kingdom of Georgia. Now another thing before we commence this attack is to ensure that we are not inadvertently getting something that would allow the formation of a new um, duchy, but it wouldn't. We would only take a small piece of a duchy, so that's fine. We can attack here without big problems. He is currently weak for some reason, but we're gonna take this chance uh, because right now we do not need our own allies. We will move to raise our troops here so we can immediately cross the border and attack the heart of our objective. Our commander is leading and he is the best man for the job. We do have a siege leader, which for the moment we will put in instead. Let's see. Inspiration, someone to impress. Lately my efforts to impress have fallen flat. My friendship with Baron Maricius is still standing on shaky ground. It's a mess. However, I've got a brilliant idea. I'll have my half sis uh, my sister-in-law, Kale, add a dedication to the masterpiece she's making. The flattered dedicatee will be deeply touched by my generosity and munificence and will have no choice but to like me more. So we could go with our Baron here, who's also a marshal, so yeah, now we're friends. That's not bad. It's dedicated to him. Our wife should be a little bit upset, I think. Right, so at this moment, I don't know where his armies are. Really don't know. He's probably raising them somewhere, but uh, while he does, we're just gonna siege our way through his lands. We still do not have, at this very moment, full regiments. So this is costly for us. It costs us money. We're losing money in this war for the moment. But raiding and winning sieges actually gives us some gold out of it. Problem here is if he waits long enough without raising his armies, his troops are gonna, well, outgrow ours, basically. Oh, very good. Oh, this is, this is really, really good. Oh, wow, okay. Hello. Over here, my lord, my sister-in-law, Kale, waves me over with a wide grin. I've toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. An elegant regalia, set of excellent craftsmanship, consists of a silver scepter set with pieces of turquoise fine wool robes that have been embroidered with silver, and a silver cross-bearing orb. And this is it. So it grants us 15% fertility, which is a huge boost, Party, which is very good, plus 0 0.2. Um, prestige, plus 0 0.08. That's not a lot. And tyranny loss of plus 8%. So if we were ever to be seen as a tyrant, this would go down. And down there, you can see a little bit of a uh, explanation on this. An elegant regalia set of excellent craftsmanship. It consists of a silver, and this is basically what we have. A tiny but elegant inscription runs on the side, dedicating it to a stalwart friend, Maurikios. And this is indeed lovely. So we now have this. And, of course, we want to equip it. And we never equip the Terracotta Toy Fowl. I am... I am well good. So, something um, that is important to note. These go down over the years. And the older they get, the more costly it gets to repair them. And the higher quality they are the more costly it's going to be as well. However, the higher quality they are, the longer they last. So it's uh, pretty decent. We're, we're just going to repair this real quick for 38 gold. That's fine. Having an antiquarian helps slow this down and I think even reduces the cost. Well, that's fine. We don't want to go for a hunt. So as our troops kind of die in battle, uh, slowly but surely... You know what? I think he might actually have his troops committed over there in France, which is why he's not sending them right now. And why they are so 
badly hurt. Let's see. In my attempts to align Varham with my interests, I have found an opportunity. I think I could argue that our goals are in fact the same as I dictate my next letter. Um, so he gets 30 opinion of us, or we go and he gets 50 opinion of us, and we get some. Um, now, we'll, 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 we'll tray, uh, we'll go with subtlety, that's fine. So we have gotten four gold out of this. And next, we're just going to go for his capital. Uh, something we don't need to concern ourselves with is supplies right now. They recharge either in your own territory or the territory that you have conquered. Um, and it goes down here. But uh, it, it's fine. We have enough supplies and we're close enough to home to not consider this all that much. Our... Sun here becomes a fortune builder. Very good. Looks like he's coming after his father being lustful and all. So let's see if we can't find his armies. We'll check his courtiers because there's going to be knights here somewhere. So he has Prince Ashot, he's an antiquarian, a knight. So we're just going to go look at it. So his armies are here somewhere right now because his knight is definitely with his army. So if we if we follow his his knight, okay, they're coming back by by sea. Yeah, you can see he's at the court in Bosporus right now, and this is kind of cheating the system. But yeah, he's coming by ship. Uh, we will move our troops over here. Oh oh no, slow slow. I clicked wrong. I did I didn't. Yeah, okay, someone is a non-believer, doesn't matter. We're gonna move our troops over to the shore, because he's gonna land somewhere here. And we want to move where there isn't a skull appearing in the sky, where we try to move. I don't know, who is this? Granddaughter? Fine. Just give her an Armenian name and be done with it. Why do we want to catch him while he comes off uh, of his ships there? Because landing troops is uh, dangerous. It is dangerous. So what we want to do is we want to find them as quickly as possible after they've landed. There they are. So we want to fight them as soon as possible. And sometimes selecting the army is, is surprisingly difficult. So is he going to fight the rebellion? Yes, he is. Will we catch him? Maybe. No, we're catching the rebels. Who are sieging Watch His Hours, which we don't want them to do. Uh, we will switch our commander real quick, because now we are in a, in a real battle situation again, and we want someone who knows what they're doing. So they are in a better position here. Hopefully they come for us. Or we can just catch them somewhere, because at this very moment, um, how do we approach this? We want to figure out how to get there without crossing a river, but it was easier to tell <laughs> way back when. So let's see. Um, do, we, do we see something on the... No. Do we see anything on how this topography is? No. So he's in a good position at this moment. Uh, what we could do, of course, is go here and siege another temple. He's gonna go here. Oh, no. He's trying to head us off. Okay, we'll let him walk there because we got an even fight in this area. So we'll let him commit his forces. Once this arrow turns gray, he cannot change his move anymore. We are still... In a terrible position. Like, it's not ideal for us. But our commander is good in hills. We have more men. So there's a chance. This goes for us. And it looks like it will go for us. But barely. This is a very close one. Very close. You see, numbers aren't everything in this. And his uh, commander is very good as well. 
so this was not an easy victory. Um, not at all. But we have to press our advantage now, so we will follow his uh, retreating army. Because it's probably... It's highly unlikely that we'll ever get uh, such an advantage again. It's probably gonna flee somewhere. Where again, he's gonna be in a fairly good position to fight us. So we want to catch them before they can regenerate their morale or anything. Okay, I don't think we're gonna catch them. We could try and siege this, but uh, this is very well fortified. Alright, um, <laughs> this is a little bit weird. This is something that happens if someone is trying to kill you. So, um, yeah. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing ruckus at a local tavern. The man is spending a large amount of money uh, trying to get a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local plains for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me. So someone is trying to kill us. And... Um, we could imprison this man as well to remove him from the plot and we will do so the treacherous adventurer so this here will go really really low actually it's too high I'm not even sure yeah it goes you can see the siege progress but we're just here waiting for the army to pass so we can fight them again if he tries it. Oh, okay, stop. Real quick. We have to fight this army immediately. They just popped up. If he manages to uh, combine his armies, that's a big, big, big problem for us. So we have to fight them this very second, right there where they popped up. It's a good position for us. We, we managed this well. There is a chance he, he will reinforce and we might still lose here. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second because you're gonna see one of those things that sometimes happens. In Crusader Kings, you see how we're almost done with this battle. But if he manages to reinforce, he still gets all the defensive um, advantages. Ah, darn. Okay. At this moment... The advantage is still in the enemy's favor. And we are going to lose this. So, well, what can we do? Actually, I don't think much. Um, I just right-clicked somewhere else to remove our army from the battle. So I conceded. We are retreating. They are in pursuit. Um, it isn't like there is an option for it. On honestly, I think this is the first time in Crusader Kings 3 that I've willingly retreated from a battle because I didn't actually know how to do it. So this is how you retreat from a battle. You have your army selected and you just right click somewhere for them to go to pull them out. You're gonna lose some troops there, but you might come out the stronger for it. Oh boy. Um, my daughter was completely broken up by some what you might be a prince but you're also an impotent debaucher all right you got some anger issues i think why does this de-stress us oh because we admire her and i don't know it's it's a bit weird now we lost this battle uh meaning they gained actually war score for it and their troops are now stronger than ours so Either way, we would have lost it. We would for sure have lost this battle. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the advantage of retreating is, to be quite honest. I don't know. Um, maybe we, we save some more troops. But right now, we are in a bad spot. We are definitely weaker. Uh, we can't really do much. We could try... And get this duke here, but he can't because he's a vassal. We could get this guy in for 750, which we can't. And he, honestly, he brings he brings nothing to the battle anyway. So at this point, we're losing this war. 
And that's just a fact. Uh, I'm, I, I don't have any options to deal with this. Uh, and we will not be able to get a wise piece. Uh, because he has a base reluctance of this. Of And we're at minus zero. We're almost there. We could almost get a truce out of it. And if we wait long enough, uh, the occupation score... Um, no, actually, I'm not sure if this might still go up. So we'll have to wait a little bit and we'll see. Tawny Troubles, what's going on here? Um, she becomes a rival. We might become a drunkard. I, I don't care. I have other troubles at this moment. So we can wait for our army to recharge a little bit, but I think our best bet is uh, to try and... Yeah, there we go. So our... Due to holding this objective, it went up a little bit. And we can now go for a white piece. A white piece uh, means he gets the title. Uh, our claim becomes pressed, which is important. While we lose this fight for this title, our... Oops! Pause. Pause game. Um, our heir will then be able to press this claim later. Um, yeah, so we're going to go for a white piece. It's not ideal. Uh, definitely not what we wanted. But going for a white piece isn't the worst thing in the world. So he accepts it. We disband all our troops. It's very fine. We, we took our chance. We didn't get it quite right, but it's okay. Uh... Our, our dude is finding lovers and stuff here. It's, it's fine. We're not finding anything useful at this moment. Okay. So let's check this out real quick here. We have these claims down here. And the red shield says it's an unpressed claim. Meaning when I die, I, I lose this claim. It's not going to be here. These are claims that we fabricated over time. So another claim we might want to press is this one. Try to get another white piece. But he is much stronger, at least with his allies. And for some reason, we also have a truce with him. I'm not entirely sure why he wasn't involved in this war right now, but uh, that's just how it is. Um, right, so it, it wasn't a total loss. We lost some money, we lost some prestige, we, we lost some men, which obviously you, you try and want to prevent there. Um, but, you know... <laughs> We did our best. Can demand payment for hooks. Honestly, never really done this. Uh, let's check our intrigue. What hooks do we even have? Okay, we have some. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Don't get me wrong. We're gonna go ahead and blackmail all these people here. Um, blackmailing. What does it mean? We get a strong hook. And that we then can leverage for gold, I think. And there's already hooks I hold. So let's blackmail her. That's fine. Will we blackmail our ally here? No. That's also fine. Who's this man? Doesn't really matter who he is. Ah, uh, we're already doing one, so that's fine. So we'll wait for this. Alright, so now we have a strong hook on her. What does it mean? We can demand a payment. We could also do other things, I, I assume. But uh, at this... M like, we could invite her to court, which doesn't make any sense for us. Let's demand some payment. She's gonna give us 10 gold. Which we can use again in a while. Let's see who else we have. Mainly our dynasty members. Who are you? Uh, she doesn't have enough gold to give us anything. Let's see. Do we have hooks on anyone else? It doesn't matter. Let's get a hook on him. Check if he has money. He does, so he will be able to pay us some. Um... Okay, he doesn't... We got his secret revealed. He didn't want to play ball. So we'll have to wait for her hook to reappear. Unless we want to export, extort our own family here. Which we're not going to do. Alright. So we lost the war. 
We won a battle. It's all good. We have an open council position. Our marshal died, I think, in that war that we just waged. Um, who do we have? We have a good knight here. He would be amazing for it, and that's what he's going to do. Uh, he will continue raising control, which is important. We can... Oh, we can ransom someone that we have gotten. And we'll luckily, happily do that. Let's see. Do we have more prisoners? No, we only took that one. Well... Okay, we have a new bishop who endorses us, which is important. Ooh. Um, yeah, another accusation of witchcraft, which we... Now, she ain't that, my people. Stop it. So he's now back to full strength, almost full strength. He's still growing, and he's going to be way, way stronger than us. But, we do have a truce at this very moment with him. I think we should, or only us. Oh boy. He doesn't have a truce with us, so he might be able to attack us, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. It's not ideal. Let's see if we can't find someone with an alliance here. Alliance power. County of Oibea. I mean, it's not... It's... 500 soldiers. Will he matrilineally go? No, that's fine. Yeah, it's alright. We'll go with that. We just need to pump those numbers a little bit. I still don't understand how we got this truce here. Were we paid for this? I don't know. We could purchase a truce with him. Uh, but he is not likely to do so. He hates us. He is a little bit stronger than us. He's bold, and the money doesn't really concern him much. So let's bolster our own troops. Lack of sheriffs. Okay. He's taken care of some corruption. Very good. This will help us. Our daughter has come of age, and she is still betrothed to the duke here. Which we'll go for. That's fine. Maybe she can give him a child. If not, she's going to return to us, I think. But, if I'm not mistaken, this lady here is a homosexual. So this will be a, a bit of a problem um, in their conception. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. All right. You know what? I haven't, I haven't tried to murder you a son in a while, or you, for that matter. Uh, we would have more luck with the son. Should we try? I think we should. Nah, we're just... It's not right to do so. Deaf diplomacy. My Chancellor Abidad had worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Prince Ashot of the emerging Armenian principalities is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. Alright, so he just got us out of that truce. So we could attack again, which doesn't help us much, because we are quite too weak to win this. And we also don't have the, the clout to pull in proper allies here. What's Kazaria doing? <laughs> Growing up here. My, my. 4,000. That's not bad. We are a bit in a pickle. Now, of course, our biggest, strongest neighbors have fallen apart a little bit, but we are not yet big enough to challenge much here. We're... Ah, we can't. We don't have manorialism yet. Can't upgrade this. Shame. It'd be so nice to spend some money here. But we simply cannot. We could build something here. That's true. What should we build? What can we build? I think we need something with more levies. Levies aren't what wins you wars, but they might just as well be the ones that lose you some. Oh, 
Uh, we have lost an alliance. Uh, that's not great. What can we do with you? No, that's not good. Barony has nothing. Yeah, almost nothing. Might as well have nothing. Oh, man. Can't we get something out of here? Nope. It's not willing to do that. Alright, but at least we have another son that we could give away and try and find something better. No, just baronies and cities. There's nothing out there for us. We could at least give him an intelligent wife. Ah, he doesn't get a woman. Unless he finds one himself. Honestly, I'm way more worried about things right now than I was before. Because this... This place here... I mean, it doesn't have any claims. So he, he can't rightly attack us, honestly. There's... I don't think he has a casus. Belly. Which is Latin for... Reason for war. If only they had never known I murdered their family. It it wouldn't all be that tense out here. Well, quite honestly, um, that's a big one. That's the bigger one. How are you allied? Our hook expired. That's sad. Oh no, another alliance of ours went away. So this girl and this boy. Will it be easy to kill you? No. Will it be easy to kill you? No. It's generally a little bit harder if you try to do that in a culture and religion place which isn't your own. So we'll just continue a little bit more. Work with the hooks. That we uncover here. Oh. He died. And our daughter is... Married to another dude now. That's not great. Didn't even give us an alliance. Ah, uh, big shame. <laughs> Alright, at least I understand why this hook expired because her lover died, so who cares, right? That makes sense. Granddaughter, son at night. No one here is money. Could we request her divorce? Yeah, but she wouldn't accept it. Okay, we're just accumulating a little bit of money. And maybe we're building something here. I think... I think barracks. More spearmen damage. Yeah, we're still fairly okay on money if we do that, so we'll we'll build that. As long as we have the architect, it makes it a little bit cheaper. Alright, another lifestyle perk. What do we get? Vassal tax contribution. Yeah, might be nice. Extort subjects decisions. Ah, I don't like it. It's not good on a just uh, ruler anyway. Who wants to extort people? That's not just. So we just to wait for him to die to get out of those alliances there. But I think we might be among the older people here. 
He's soon to die. So that's good for us. That's gonna weaken this kingdom. He's not gonna have to share the realms, though, so that's good for him. We are gonna be probably weaker upon inheritance. Although he is a tough soldier, so his martial skill is fairly high. Far from home. Stranger is brought before me. She has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The woman bows deeply. My name is Gulpari, your highness. I have traveled far and wide. I have seen many things, but my family and I were weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge with the world of you and be your loyal servant. Oh, yeah? I mean, embrace God and this will be your home? Yeah. Let's have a convert. And she can stay with us. Well, seduction scheme, scheme wouldn't work. Let's sway her toward us. We can't sway him any further. He's already fully swayed. Oh, what just happened? <gasps> he formed the kingdom of Georgia. Well, because his father died. Okay, so he's not significantly weaker. And he really, really, really doesn't like us. Um, oh, he's also our rival. Well, fantastico. Again, we could swear fealty to him. Making us stronger in the process. And we could fight inside here. Rather than, you know, trying from the outside. But getting independence back might be more difficult. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Could request a claim here, but... We really don't have the sway on this man, Mr. Catholicos, Pedros. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, uh, I think we'll leave it here for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've learned something, I'm very happy and I hope you do. Uh, if there are any questions or you want to tell me something of your own game experience, do let me know down in the comments below. And I hope to see you around next time. Thank you very much. Until then, bye-bye.